ladies and gentlemen welcome in to another stadium video today i wanted to take a look at the five worst mlb stadium bullpen now i did a video yesterday talking about just the bullpens in general how they've evolved but these are five different ones that i really don't like and a lot of this has to do with previous renovations or kind of a reaction to the fences being moved in in relation to how the bullpen looks currently some of these are just really really ugly the thing i'll say before i actually reveal my top five i'm not including on field bullpens aka bullpens in foul territory obviously you would have to say those would be the worst like the oakland coliseum but they're not going to really renovate that there's no point considering the coliseum is on its last legs there's no you know point in an investment to something that's going to be demolished in about five or six years but either way guys we're going to begin at number five and i am going with t-mobile park at number five now this is one of those newer type designs where the bullpen is located right next to the fans the issue I have with this bullpen design located in left field is the fact that they are both horizontal like to the field and they are both right next to each other. You can see one on the left, one on the right. It takes up virtually the entire wall area of left field outside of that little sliver and then above that it's just barren there's a scoreboard there's nothingness to it it really doesn't do t-mobile park any favors i think it'd be really nice if they somehow reconfigured the bullpens maybe stacked them on top of each other in left center field take out that little patio area you could move that or you could put new seating in right in left field it would really bring the stadium more together than the current look it has where it kind of just looks off because there's no seating out in left field that is just all bullpen and it just takes up too much area so in general I like T-Mobile Park I don't have an issue with it I would probably rank it 13th or 14th so kind of a mid type stadium but yeah that new design you know I can understand the idea you want a little social space over there but the fact that they're back to back taking up that entire area that's the real problem with that bullpen design you could even flip them both vertical get a bunch more space and put up some seats and really bring the stadium together in in kind of a better way when it comes to that design so that is the number five worst bullpen and when I mean worst bullpen it's kind of just a combination of location how much space does it take up what's the style you know is it awkward all of that plays a factor in it. Uh, moving on to number four, it is Comerica Park, and I'm actually regretting putting this at number four. I probably should have put it at put this at number one. So if you guys don't know, Comerica Park originally had their bullpens out in right field, but because the fences were originally so deep, like most MLB stadiums, they brought the fences in, but they did it on a budget, meaning all they did was they took the bullpens from right right field and they put them in left field in front of the original wall and you know how cheap this is you can actually see the original padded wall where the original fence was it, I, it, it blows my mind with Comerica Park and just the lack of investment into this stadium and I just think it looks so bad so you know the fact and also the other thing is the fact that there's bullpens in front of seats but the seats are like lower it just looks really inorganic and really cheap to me because again all they did was take the bullpen from right field they filled all those the empty area where the bullpen previously was they filled that with bleacher seats and they moved the bullpen in front of the seats in left field and you can still see the original padded fence there and kind of the crest and the way it curves and now they've actually taken it a step further with Comerica Park and they've got a double wall in center field as well so you know you would really like to see some type of investment what would I do in terms of this design personally I would probably change the design completely I just the the look of a bullpen in front of seats and the fact that the seats are not even elevated, it's a real problem. It just looks tacky to me. And, and obviously, this was not the original design of the stadium. This is a, quote, renovation, when in reality, it was just done out of necessity. And it seems like it was done out of cheapness to me. So it comes in at number four. At number three, it is City Field. So City Field already has a very strange bullpen design. One of the bullpens is like under an area of seats or like a little passageway. The other bullpen is sticking out. You know, that's fine. There, there's not a big deal with that. My issue is 
when they decided to move the fences in, when you look at the bullpen area, it's like one giant maze. Like there's a big dead zone out there and it just looks really strange. Like look at that dead zone when they decided to move the fences and they didn't even custom fit the seats or anything. And this is part of the problem of moving the fences in. You really cannot bring the seats any further because then they would be under the original, the new fence. So the fans would have obstructed view. Uh, and it, it like ends up with that dead zone. You would still think there would be some type of way to make that look a little bit better than that. Cause that just looks terrible right there. Uh, you know, where the original fence was and where the bullpens are situated. But I just think that whole area over there, and then they have like a little area where I guess the bullpen pitchers can sit in it, or that was the previous area. It, it, the whole thing is just a very strange configuration, and this more so has to do with the fact that the fences were moved in. It just creates big problems when it comes to overall stadium aesthetic, and that's why it comes in at number three. If they didn't touch these bullpens, I would have no issues with them, but the fact that there's that dead zone right next to them, and there's just a bunch of random stuff, I'm going to put it at number three on the worst bullpens. At number two, it is American Family Field. So American Family Field, the one bullpen located in right field, I really have no issue with it. It looks fine, the seating right next to it. It's it's pretty standard. It is what it is. It's kind of weird, the stuff right next to the bullpen, kind of just barren landscape. I don't know, maybe that's like a Toyota thing. But, but then the problem that I have is if you look at the bullpen in left field, just there's no seating around it. It almost looks like a multi-purpose stadium. Like, like there's just random seats scattered throughout down the left field line. And then when you look at the you know, left field wall, there's literally no seating right up against the wall, which is a very strange thing. And to me, it really brings a ballpark down. You want there to be seating right up against the wall, at least for part of it, because it's a good aesthetic. It really brings the ballpark together. The fact that there is no seating along the wall, and then you have the bullpen, and then you've got kind of that green signage, which it looks like a little dead area beneath that. It's really disheveled. And I think with American Family Field, they're going to be doing a renovation to it. I really wonder if they decide to switch the bullpens around a little bit. I would just put them both vertical, possibly out in left center. Although I'm actually not sure if they can fit those bullpens vertically, depending on where the concourse is located in relation to the end of the stadium. Because, you know, you can see the wall right there. We will see either way that renovation should be happening probably in 2026 or 2027. And you would think the entire design might be redone out in left field. But in general, I think the entire thing should be redone, especially with the center field vertical scoreboard. And then when it comes to the worst bullpen situation right now, it has to be the dreaded renovation at Oracle Park. Now, I still think Oracle Park is like a top two, top three stadium. I'm not going to move it down on my list just because the location of the bullpens are bad, but you cannot have bullpens in dead center field, especially a horizontal bullpen. It just looks off. It really does look wrong, and this is another one where they took out seats, they moved the fences in, and they tried jamming the bullpens, but this is like, you know, on steroids, considering the situation with them being both in center field, they look really disheveled, the seating, because they took some of the seating out, it looks really bad, it, you know, very small. So overall, this has to be number one just because of the fact that it's in center field, the fact that they removed a bunch of the seating, they made the seats awkward, and they put up a new fence. It comes in at number one on the worst bullpen situations. Again, it's still a great stadium, of course. But to be honest, I'm guessing they probably originally wanted to do like a stack on top, like a stepping stone design like Progressive Field has, but you really cannot do that in center field because of the batter's eye. Like you cannot put a bullpen elevated in dead center field. It, it, you know, it has to be completely black or, or completely one color because that is the batter's eye. So they had to push them down and in front of the seating while also taking some of the seating away. I am not a fan of the dead center bullpen design. Uh, and again, guys, when it comes to like, you know, Tropicana Field, Oakland Coliseum, when they've got their bullpens right down, you know, the foul lines. Obviously, that's not a good design, but, you know, that would be the worst. I'm not going to rank it because it's not a true bullpen, and both of those stadiums are not going to be getting bullpen renovations anytime soon. When it comes to this list, I do think American Family Field might be receiving a bullpen renovation where they could change it 
City Field is just kind of a mess. I think they're kind of stuck with the design because, we, again, when you move fences in, it's very hard to reconfigure the seats depending on how far the fence gets moved in. The only way they could truly reconfigure the seats, and honestly, I would really consider doing this if I, you know, was with the Mets, you would have to bring the, the wall down so you could br keep bringing the seats out and the wall would have to actually lower in height, which I would be fine with because I think it would fit the field a lot better. Uh, but either way, I I'm not sure that they're going to do anything. City Field's problem is less so a bullpen problem, more so moving the fences in with the dead zone. Comerica Park, they got to do something. I, you know, but I honestly, I don't think they will. At least change the original wall from the padded area. At least make it like a different, something different. It just looks like a Dollar General thing. And then T-Mobile Park, they're not going to change theirs at all. They, they just got that configuration like 10 years ago. And they think it's really good because the fans can watch the pitchers warm up up when in reality that's such a small part of it and it just kind of ends up making the stadium look worse especially with their configuration where they're taking up the entire left field but either way guys that is going to do it for this video make sure you're following me on x link to that's always in the description